Hey, peeps, how we doing? I'll set you up right there. Right there. How you doing? Right, let me have a drink. I'm just getting you up on the good old computer so we can have a conversation, okay? So let me know that you are here and that you can hear me. So today's session, so Mission 500, the next tips, if you like, is all about getting your outside leg hang and like prepping you to actually get it when you reach that level. Does that make sense? Now, I can't see if there's anyone here, so I'm just going to make sure I am actually live before I continue. Uh, let me know if you are here and you can hear me. Because uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I am. Oh, okay, I think I, oh, now there's some other people. Hey, Joanna, thank you so much. Thank you for the stars, bless you. Well done. It says you've got a streak. You can earn a streak by sending stars two weeks, two or more weeks in a row. So you've earned a, you've earned a streak there, Joanna. Woohoo, <laughs> fantastic, cool, excellent. Oh, glad some of you are here. I'm glad some of you are here. So. Today we're talking about, like I said, your outside leg hang, or I call it Gemini, and I know some people call it Scorpio. Uh, so if we just go talk about inside outside leg hang, that would be the best way. Hey Kelly, how you doing? Hope you had a fabulous weekend. Yes, I hope you've had a fabulous weekend too. Uh, it's been lovely, isn't it? It's been, it's just been beautiful. It's been a nice warm day. I've enjoyed the bit of breeze though. Um, it's what I call a summer's day, a nice, uh, not, not over too hot, you're not over hot, you know, when we had that 30 degrees, didn't like that at all, didn't like it. Uh, but this temperature is just my cup of tea. <laughs> I love it. Although it does get too hot to train when you, go, when you're in, because uh, uh, this room isn't particularly big. Um, and when I record, I keep the window shut as you can hear the traffic too much. So, uh, that's annoying. So I have to be in a really hot room to train. And then I just get slippery and then annoyed myself. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Once you get out of this room and you're feeling that beautiful heat outside and feeling the wind, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's too hot. I'm ready for Christmas. <laughs> that's Joanna. That's not me. I, I like Christmas when as we get there. But right now I'm in summer mode and I want summer to stay a little bit longer. I'm not ready. For, I'm not ready for the cold. Not yet. Not yet. Just give me the heat a little bit longer. <laughs> and then I'm all into it. Once, once it actually gets cold, it's that in between. I don't like anyway. <laughs> um, yes, it is a fine bank holiday. Isn't it? All right, Jennifer. Well done. Um, Hi Katrine, it's nice to see you here. Yeah, and guess what? You're on time. This is amazing. <laughs> Finally decided to get a wrap after all the information you shared the other day. Oh, awesome. Let us know when it arrives and how you get on with it. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, so there's lots of people that have got wraps and, and silicone poles at the moment, which is really cool to see. Uh, now you can pole in leggings and you no longer have to shave your legs. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's get stuck in with prepping for your uh, outside leg hang, okay? So hooking your leg onto the pole once you go into an invert. Now, there are lots of ways that you can work on hamstring stretch. So hamstrings is the muscle down the back of your thigh, and that's what needs to be engaged when you do a hook, okay? So being able to keep that leg bent and keeping that leg in that good hook position is your hamstrings doing the work. So working on your hamstrings, you can do a lot of hamstring work off the pole as well. Uh, what's a wrap? A wrap is, hmm, I can show you. Uh, mine's actually unraveling. <laughs> I unraveled the other day. Ooh. So this is my pole and then I have this wrap that can go around it. It's like, it's silicone, it's grippy. So you know my pole, this pink pole, this is a silicone pole, uh, so it's grippy. So it's, the silicone's already attached to the pole, you can't take it off. But a wrap, you can wrap the pole up and you can un unwrap it as well. Um, so it's not permanent, if that makes sense. And a lot of people like it, particularly if they're sliding on the pole or want to focus on the conditioner side of things. So that's what a wrap is. Alrighty. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? So let me, uh, let me get you set up over here so you can actually see the pole and we can get stuck into how we can actually train this. So I want to say I'll have a look at, um, if you're a beginner. If you are just starting to work on understanding how to hook your legs 
and you can do all this from the floor so i think we've done uh, we've recapped some of this like um of flooring versions before so we're going to do a flooring version and then we're going to hook the leg so we're going to have a look at that today and we're also going to have a look at how you can do it from a side pose and prepping from the floor that way um this actually comes in my developmental high beginner section so if you are following our online poll program uh, you will find that you will reach this point in your journey as and when it you reach it okay so don't worry don't need to um add it right now just know it's going to come up at the right time for you to work on it okay uh any questions so far i never knew those existed game changer they really are joanna but did you also know you can get a grippy leggings so you've got a grippy pole wrap you can put on your pole um and then you can wear funky leggings like i do compressed leggings though okay they have to be really tightly fit if they got any loose fabric your, your clothing sticks um but you can also get sticky leggings as well um, and they can work on any metal finished pole so yeah yeah lots and lots of choices okay so we are going to have so if i show you what a gemini is or an outside leg hang okay so you've got some idea of what we're aiming for eventually and how we're going to prep for it okay so gemini or outside leg hang i need to say outside leg hang so you don't get confused Okay, this is a Gemini, you can bend them up there, you can do what you like. Okay, so how can we work up towards getting there? So we've already had a bit about inverting, and you know we've got the master, the chopper program that's going to help you with the invert. But so today we're going to actually focus on that hook, the hook, uh, that locked leg. Okay, how to get that leg locked in the position? How you can actually work this from the ground without actually having to be able to invert? And this is what we cover in the high beginner developmental. Okay, so I'm just going to bring you down here a little bit so we can get a bit closer to the ground, to the floor. Uh, okay. Alrighty. So. We can work on the position and understanding how to hook your leg on the ground without taking too much energy of trying to like side climb into the pose or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we need to focus our hips up. Everything is our hips up, okay? When it comes to any inversions, anything when you're hooking your legs on the pole in particular, they need, it needs to hook the, above your hands and that means you need to get your hips up. If your hips aren't, uh, uh, if your hips aren't high enough, your leg is going to hook over your hand and then it's going to be just not going to get it, okay? So, what we can do is we can practice the leg lock from the floor. So we're going to lay down the pole in the armpit and we're going to reach the hands up and I'm pulling that pole down into the floor, okay? To so squeeze the shoulder blades together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck my knees out. Now we've covered this before, tuck, you're going to tuck till shoot the legs up. So I call it a floor hippie uppy, that's our nickname for it, or a floor inversion crunch, okay? So we're going to go up, shoot up, get the hips have to be up, okay? So I'm just going to turn, so my hips are high. So when I go up, I'm trying to get my hips to the pole near my hands, okay? So as you can see, I've taken my outside leg right across anyway, because that's the natural thing to do for an invert. So what we want to do is we want to turn this knee away from the pole so we can push the back of the knee into the pole okay so the knee points away back of the knee pushes on this will allow us to try and bend this leg and we're going to squeeze the heel of the foot down towards the ground without losing that height so as i've done that i've had to move my inside leg out of the way okay you can keep your hands on for this because what will happen is you'll, you'll probably feel like your hands get squashed and that's okay um, and you'll be able to squeeze with your inner arm later on but you can mimic what you're going to do at the pole so from here up hips up turn that knee away from the pole then bend to get that hook so you'll see that thigh sort of squashes this outside hand okay but what it's not doing is here because that will make you feel like you haven't got a lock because you haven't <laughs> okay so practicing that hips up getting the leg on and pushing the back of the knee in and then pointing the foot down. That's how you're going to work on that leg lock, okay? And making sure that you do both sides. You can also work on like leg switches from the floor as well, okay? Some just added extra randomness for you. So you can do this with your hands on or without your hands. It's the same thing. So we're doing, I'm going to go straight into a leg hook now. So once you've understood how to get your hips high, I'm going straight with my leg across and bending, okay? So up, hook, down, yeah? 
So you can keep your hands on if you wish. So my inside leg's in a big circle. As my leg comes in, my thigh comes onto the pole, I'm going to unhook my outside leg and switch, okay? Now I always do an inside leg with the whole of my calf. I tend not to focus on this bent position. Some people do, some people don't. Uh, I don't, okay? So again, again, this is just extra randomness. So up, hook, big circle, swap. You can always swap back, okay? So good, nice little drill for you to work on. Now, once you've got that, so you can practice that from, flat, uh, from the ground, you can have a look at doing a side pose into an outside leg. So what this means is you'll be slightly higher off the ground. So at the moment, I've got my shoulders on the floor. What we can do is prep, go in like, it's almost like doing a side climb into it, but we're not side climbing up the pole, so we're preserving some energy to be able to get into it. So I'm going to show you that two seconds. I'm just going to check for any questions. Hello. Not yet. Okay, cool. Hopefully this is a, a, like interesting. Okay, it makes sense. Right, so I'm going to show you how to get into this Gemini or outside leg hang from a side pose. Okay, so we can slow this down and completely break it down and we totally do in the developmental module, so don't worry, it will, it will all make sense. So from your side pose position, you'll find the pole will sit towards your hip on your thigh, but what we want to do is actually that pole needs to sit above the hip, okay? So in that, like the side tummy pocket. So from your side pose position, so I'm going to take my outside leg behind, like so. And what you can do is just place it down on the floor. You're going to place the outside hand underneath, and I'm going to use this hand to pull the pole above my hip. So I'm going to pull and get that pole sitting above the hip. I'm rotating, okay, so my chest is facing towards you. I need to rotate to face the ceiling, and then I'm going to slide my top hand down, and then I'm going to allow, making sure that I've got lock, my head will touch the floor, I'm not bothered, I'm, talking, I'm really just prepping you for the leg hook position. Okay, and I'm going to keep that inside leg down. So the pole is right above the hip where it needs to be. Then I'm going to power back up and I'm going to reach above my knee, like so. Does this make sense? So I'm using that outside hand to pull myself through. Because naturally in a side pose we're going for like the top of the thigh towards the hip. But with a outside leg hang, it needs to be in the side tummy pocket, so we need to get through. So it's not the most natural way to get into it, but like I said, I'm trying to prep you and get you in understanding that hook position a little bit higher off the ground, because the more height you have off the ground, the more you're going to have to hook the leg, okay? Because it's going to give you more pressure. So you really want to keep that leg lock down, so you're pointing the foot down towards the ground. Does this make sense? Okay, I'll show you again. And obviously, of course, if you give it a go and then you've got any questions, let me know. But I'm pulling in. So my start with then, I actually have both hands above my hook knee, but you can always start with that outside hand underneath and you're already halfway there. So, hooking, the lower you are, the better, because we've got to be down anyway. So I'm gonna take this leg behind, slide it as far away as you can. And I'm using this hand to help me. I'm going to rotate, and as I rotate, I'm sliding the top hand down. I'm going to roll the shoulders back, keep the chest lift. And as I do that, it straightens my inside arm. Keep that leg locked down as you release the top hand. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And your head may touch the floor, that's fine. Now, if you're like, oh, I can't get up, or your leg starts to lift, just place the hand on the pole, find the gap, lift the inside leg up, and then slowly roll your spine down towards the ground. Okay? but it's a really great way to help you get that leg lock nice and low, so to the ground, with a move that you already know. And if you can't get back up, at least you can just slither to the ground, okay? And then you know if you can't get up, that's an area that you need to focus on, which we'll be doing in the program anyway, where we work on trying to do like Gemini sit-ups or outside leg head sit-ups. So you can actually do those from the floor as well. So going from a floor immersion, the leg and then I take the outside hand off 
and I'm going to use this with power. So power up, grab, lower down. Power up, grab, lower down. Power up, grab. You can walk your hands up and then bring your knee down. Yeah. So we're working on that momentum again up to help you, prepare you for when you're doing it further up the pole in the intermediate level. Does this make sense? Does this help? Um, everything can be broken down, everything, okay? So if you're just working on your inverts now, make sure you prep everything from the floor, stay safe. Does this make sense? If you've not done it from the floor, it's a lot more scary. Um, and then I expect you to be using your mats anyway, but then you'll probably also want a spotter. So if you've never done this from the ground and you're really want, and you're trying to train it at home, take it back, okay? Take it a step back, stay safe, get on the floor. So much you can do that way. Get your instructors to show you. If you haven't got an online program or you don't want to join, that's absolutely fine. But get your, if you're training at home, you have a pole at home, ask them, how can I prep for this? Hopefully they can give you some ideas like this. If not, just take my ideas. But you can work up, okay? Stay safe. Stay safe. Right. Um, can you do it one more time? I did. Thank you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad. Uh, you're totally welcome. Totally welcome. I'm glad this helps. Do you have any questions about that, guys? That is all I pretty much got to give to you on about that move. I'm prepping for the outside leg hang um, from the floor, training it on the pole. And, of course, you can work on... Um, off the pole hamstring strengthening exercises to help you with that grip, okay? But I think practice, just even practicing from the floor and working on that hook and just trying to get your hand above, that's gonna make you work those hamstrings even harder and understand what you need for up the pole anyway. Um, so they're really cool, they're cool. Alrighty, so do you have any questions, whether it's to with today's session or if you've got any further questions from the Q&A yesterday, please let me know. Uh, I've got some more names to go on the board actually for the stars and the Mission 500 membership. Now if you are, like, I know I keep going on about this, but you've literally got a couple of days. If you want that £9 membership, literally make sure you join ASAP because it goes away. Um, and there's some more of you that have joined the Mission 500 pole membership. So if you want the pole and you want us to help you, join, you can join that one. If you've got any questions, just ask, by the way. What I did want to say is if you are a UPP2 member, just make sure, or, or just so you know, everything that's in the Mission 500 memberships is in your um, in the program. The only extra thing that I'm doing right now is the... Uh, uh, weight loss stuff okay so the weight loss support group is part of mission 500 so if you want that then that's a separate membership uh, but otherwise everything that's part of the lessons is in the program and you will get to it at the right time okay because it's all laid out week by week for you so you don't get overwhelmed because that's the most important thing you might grab all this information you're like oh my god i want to do it all uh and then like where do you start <laughs> oh and then you get overwhelmed or you try and do everything and that's the whole point of the program is that you don't get like that okay um cool Right, if that's it, if you've got no other questions, I'm going to love you and leave you. Simple as that. Go and enjoy those uh, that little training session. See if you can give it a go. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing what you think. Um, and yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. I can't see any other questions on there, so unless it's being slow. Unless you're not, just not talking to me. <laughs> Could always be a thing. Anyway, right, go and have a, a, a great rest of the evening. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.